What's up? I was gonna call everybody family. I don't. I don't know if we're on that level. Yet. <laughs> we're not quite there though with them yet. The family level. Yeah. So we're continuing Doom. This will just be a, a complete walkthrough. I feel like we've already invested a lot of time into Doom as is. Last time you guys seen this was actually Halloween. We were both answering doors. He's running away from me. Taking trick or treats. I'm kind of. Were we following that thing before? Well, those are those guys that give me uh, power ups. Yeah. Is he flying a pattern, or is he actually just gone? I don't know. No. I'm gonna go down there and find out. Well, let's venture. Where oh, I need to look up, actually, on... There it is. ...to see how long this game actually is. Because what used to be nice about Doom is you could tell your progress based on the levels, or uh, the guns you unlock. So lock on burst, I like that. Lock on or remote? If you shoot, if you pick remote though, can you like hit a wall with it and then dead it? Oh, it just has to be in flight? It has to be in flight. I'd go lock I on. like the lock yeah, on I'd... that splits into three. A lock on for sure. This marine doesn't give any. Poor little robot just getting treated like shit. Like the brave little toaster? Yeah! <laughs> We should, uh, in our walkthroughs though, we'll have like, I don't know, I think I'm trying to create too much content out of just enjoying video games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, last time we were like answering- Oh, I'm dead. What? You're good! Okay, so that's a bug. <laughs> no, that wasn't a bug. It was an invisible platform. Also, so, that was a terrible jump by me. I've been watching this show, have you ever heard of the show called Atlanta? No. Um, you remember Community with, uh, what the hell's his name? There's Abed and Troy. Troy. Yeah, yeah, Troy. Troy, he kind of left Community on the, like the last season or whatever, or maybe second last, because he was going to go sail the world or whatever the level was. Yeah. But he kind of went and, you know, pursued his music career and was in other things. Um, anyway, the show Atlanta, he's in Atlanta, and it's about him promoting his cousin who's a rapper. And I was kind of interested in it. It's on... It's on cable, our free, whatever they call it, free shows you can watch, blah, blah, blah. It's not on Netflix or anything. Yeah. I don't know Amazon Primes and all that other stuff because all we have is Netflix oh, and cable. Oh, keep it, all right. So anyway, it's just this free show on cable. You can watch old episodes, blah, blah, blah. But it said the genre for it was comedy. So I'm like, okay, comedy. But it's more drama. It's like their struggles of trying to rise up in this hip-hop whatever rap game I'm probably sounding super white right now <laughs> I don't know what to call it about trying to you know become a name oh. right it's kind of like everything there's always markets that are just saturated with like the big names so if you ever want to come out you're always a little dog unless you have a good backing or lots of money or something yeah but anyway it's about him trying to become a big name and oh there's one of those things you have to kill the, go destroy that isn't that a spawner so anyway, the show Atlanta is about them becoming this thing, but it says comedy, and the first few episodes, they're not comedy, they're all, like, drama. But lately, the episodes have just been getting so crazy with the comedy. Like, there's a whole episode that's just this fake talk show where, like, they're trying to, like... I don't know if they're spoofing on transgender people, but there's this black dude in it that wants to become white, so they're calling it, like, transracial something or other so this black dude and he's like I just want to be white because you know the black community it's it's hard to be a black man in today's society so he wants to become white so at the end of this episode or near the end of the episode in this talk show he actually became white but he he's not white he's still black but he's just got like bleach blonde hair and he's wearing <laughs> glasses and looks super dorky <laughs> but one of the guys is like are you guys are you guys serious like what what is this and then the talk show is like so when you became white like did you notice any difference and he's like like, he's, like, looking at everybody, like, am I, am I crazy? Like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> and it just, it became, like, I was even, like, whoa. Like, oh, I blew myself up. So that's, like, I don't know, like, probably, like, six deaths for you or something, or seven deaths or something. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, the show, Atlanta, yeah, it's comedy, and this talk show episode is just, it's funny. Like, it's, it's, like, little skits. And then they have these, like, fake commercials where throughout there's this guy Dodge, driving a Dodge Charger. And it's, like, Dodge Charger. 
the car of cars. And it's like advertising <laughs> it. And he's like driving through neighborhoods and everybody's giving him nods. But then at the end, he pulls up to a gas station. He's panicked. He gets out of his car. He has no pants on. And you're like, what the hell? And he like quickly does like a... Like where he fills up and just runs. Like he takes off. He doesn't pay. Uh, I don't remember what they call it. I remember there was a name for it. A gas and run or something. But he does one of those and it's like, Charger. The cars of cars. And you're just like, holy wow, this is ridiculous. But the last episode I just watched, they're in a club trying to promote his cousin, who's called Paperboy. And in the background, you can see how they're talking about this one other rapper who's also at the club, who's like a way bigger name, but he drives this invisible car. And Paperboy's like, what? What do you mean invisible car? So his friend pulls up like this Instagram account of him, and this guy's like leaning over on like a car that's not there. You can't see anything. And then he's got like... He's like posing, and you can see something, nothing behind him, but apparently he's invisible cars behind him. And he's like, what? Like, this guy's just plain. He has no invisible car. But then at the end of the episode, they leave the club, and they hear all these gunshots, and all of a sudden in the parking lot, these people just go flying, and you see this <laughs> rapper drive by, just the rapper, who's driving an invisible car. Like, it's, it was like weird, because it started drama, and now it's just getting like ridiculous like this guy's driving an actual invisible car because it shows him sitting burning out in this parking lot and you can hear the car coming before you see it but it's this invisible car holy smokes i'm low health oh i remember how oh really no you got to do that like um yeah that thing what the hell is that called it's not a qte it's i forgot what it's called uh, Those guys are strong. Execution. Yeah, execution type dudes. But I think if you do it to those big guys, it just gives you ammo. It's these little guys you gotta do it too. But those big dudes, man, they're strong. They're ridiculous. And one thing I've learned now about doing this channel is it's super hard to have like a very intricate conversation going on and still concentrate on gameplay. One. Oh, yeah. Big one time. blacks over the other. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, so you got an upgrade? Uh, I got one armor point, so I can't really do... Uh, area scan technology. Navigation. Let's do power-ups. So something that also has recently happened is we've created a Instagram account too. Yep. So by all means, look us up on Instagram. That's a shame, shameful plug. Uh, some of you guys might have even seen that we have a Facebook page. I created Twitter, a Twitter account, I don't know, like a week ago. It's really weird having a Twitter account because I don't know what the premise of Twitter is about. I know what Facebook's about, but I don't know what Twitter's about. Is that literally just like little, little shout outs to people? Is that what that's about? It's little tweets. But what is a tweet? <laughs> is Because is, Facebook, it's like a billboard. This is me. Look at my billboard. And then everybody just that knows you or whatever can like look at the billboard. Putting it. Facebook's more of a hey, look at me. And Twitter's more of a hey, listen to me. See, I see Instagram more as like, uh, like a hey, look at me. These, this is me. Like, yeah. You know, it's the look. Twitter, is that like the listen? But shortly, listen to my little shortly yeah. statements. Listen to my 140 characters. So, for having no followers on Twitter and me tweeting, I don't know if that's open to the public if they see it. So, it felt kind of weird because it felt like I was standing just, you know, in a field. Screaming. Just shouting little things like, <laughs> hey, look at me! And nobody's yeah. there looking at me. So, I, I deactivated it. I think that's what you do nowadays. You don't delete anything. You deactivate, deactivate it. Yeah. So... But I mean, I'll reactivate it. I guess we can just have it around. Every once in a while. I was tweeting, but like I said, it's as if I'm standing in a field shouting random shit and nobody's listening. So like a total crazy person. Yeah, so I guess does that mean actually that I actually shouted anything? You know, like a bear shits in the woods? I think that's more of like a... Yes, it happens. You know, like, there's a bear Ooh, shirt. another Sauron eye. I have Sauron. So anyway, we have Instagram now. We've got a Facebook. We ha have had whatever you want to call it for Twitter. And we have... Uh, Gmail, G G G G G Google Plus that I created. And I created a community 
for anybody who wants to come and advertise videos they're doing. And maybe as a community, we can, you know, promote each other, grow with each other type dealy. So if that interests you too, come check that out. Because I'll definitely be down for checking out new content. Because a lot of the stuff I used to subscribe to has kind of just become... We're only temporarily nah. disabling the yeah. power. So. You need to remove each lens. By all means, um, on Google Plus though, Careful look up Broadcomy. You'll recognize it. Whatever. Twitter, it's all the same thing. Broadcomy. Energy and then also, I started a blog, which is just energy me is writing about necessary. our progress from start to where we are. I've got one post. I had a couple other, but I it the way blogger works, it's really weird. So anyway, I ended up accidentally deleting them, and unfortunately, it doesn't deactivate; it deletes. Holy smokes! It's like you're playing and I'm talking. Yep. <laughs> It's, it's, it's doom, right? Uh, if I don't pay attention, I'm dead. And I'm trying to, you know, not die three times in one video. Oh, it's gonna happen. It won't happen, man. You gotta have faith. Faith in something. Whatever your faith is. My faith is that uh, if I don't get a melee kill here soon, I'm gonna die. Boom. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of unforgiving, eh? Um, I wonder if this is going to be like... Ooh, nice. There we go. I wonder if this would be like Wolfenstein, though. You get so many kills with so many things, and it unlocks, like, perks for you. Like, maybe you can, if you get so many health increases, you'll get increased health. Boom. Yeah. Uh, have we fought a boss of any sorts? I don't, I think, don't we have. think so. I think it just keeps introducing new enemy types, which is... Well, do you game. remember... Did, oh, you, no. did you ever play the old Dooms? Uh, yeah. Do you remember how, like, you'd play through, like, this level... And it would show you that little mini map, and it would show your characters like it would show like that dotted line as your character moves through other facilities. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like that on this. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Rockets will take him down. Ooh, is that the target lock? Yep. Oh, I didn't lock that one. There we go. There we go. So, some upcoming games we are gonna look at, or maybe as a split unit look at is what do you want to look at uh well tuesday i'm picking up uh watch dogs 2 so we'll probably 99 point probably like five percent six percent we'll probably hammer out some of that together yeah if he's gonna do a complete walkthrough that will be his his thing well uh, um so there's that one there's a open world snowboarding game called steep uh, by Ubisoft. That That's the the beta is coming out uh, on the weekend, actually. But I'm I have to look into it. I'm not sure if we're allowed to show that footage or not. Um, yeah, if we are, definitely I'm going to be throwing some stuff up. Well, usually if it's a bigger title that has a huge um, following for it, or like you know, like when Dark Souls Three came out, certain people were allowed to participate in the beta, but there was rules that they can only film about. I think it was like 15 or 45 minutes of it, like pops. I think it was 45. Yeah. But you have so much of this world and you can do about 45 minutes. So if you kind of suck and you leave it paused because you're going to the bathroom, that's part of your 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, that you upload. And that was the same with, I believe, Elder Scrolls Online. Anybody could use it, anybody could record it, but it could only be up to 15 minutes. So hopefully with your steep, hopefully it's open to everybody because I don't think we're at the, the size yet where they give two shits about what we say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which really, any press is good press, right? Yep. So, it's kind of bad that you can say that any press is good press. It's like even bad press is good press. Because you take games that were like really beat up well, on. Easy way to easy way to put it is even if, because I'm not a fan of Call of Duty anymore. Uh, after Modern Warfare, it fell off for me. Like, uh, are you talking like Modern Warfare like, like 4? Call of Duty 4? Yeah. Oh wow! Okay. Like I, I like to the Modern Warfare series. I should say I loved it. Yeah. Was story was great. I loved it. But after that, it fell off with the running on walls and <laughs> fighting robots and all that it, stuff. It feels like Call of Duty is the one relative that visits every year, and they are kind of behind the times. But they like they'll try fall, to be hip. They'll try to be like hip with like last year's trends. Yeah. So like they'll come to your house and be like, hey. How's that vaporizer? And it's like, nobody, like, vaping is kind of, it's frowned upon now. Like, it's kind of become like that 
douchey thing, you know what I mean? Yep. Um, or like, just whatever. It's like, they just, yeah, I'm same thing. Call of Duty's, ever since they split apart yeah. from themselves, you know what I mean? Like, it was like Activision, Infinity Ward, blah, 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 made this game. And you're like, wicked. Like, I love Call of Duty's when it was like the old World War II settings. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I like one of the things I remember hugely from my childhood is playing one of the original Call of Duty's and you're in this field and you see all these paratroopers coming down like just the size was like so impressive to me and I was yeah. like holy smack was like, this is an awesome game and then even like playing the Normandy Beach because everybody saw Saving Private Ryan and you know when they wash up on Normandy Beach you're like holy man like that would have been hell yep. and now you get to play it so wicked and uh, yeah like, I remember playing the Normandy Beach level and you start off with a clip and you have to, like, in the tutorial, you follow behind this guy, and then he ends up getting shot or whatever, and you have to pick up his gun. That was awesome. But yeah, I'm kind of with you. When they started doing that whole split apart, and, you know, Sledgehammer Games is doing this one, and Activision's doing this one, and Infinity Ward's gonna do this one, and yeah. it just, yeah, they fell off for me. Like, go back to your roots. Don't go back. Don't do the futuristic shit. Because I'm with you on that. Like, when the running on walls, and... That. Like, uh, what made that even worse, the running on walls thing, was it wasn't even like a, okay, we're running out of things we need to do, like, to pull people in, let's think of something that would add to this, because that's Titanfall. That's they, what we'll say, yeah. It's they, they made Titanfall. Like, that's all they did. They copied Titanfall. Okay, but now let's reflect on it, because... There has been some Parker games, like you look at the Prince of Persia's, yep. uh, Mirror's Edge, Titanfall. They all had this like parkour element, and it was becoming a big thing. Like I remember when Titanfall was coming out, it was like this huge thing that you got these mech suits and you got like parkour system, and it was cool. And now all of a sudden, Call of Duty has it, and Mirror's Edge was out, and all these other games. Whatever. Now, I, I'm gonna sound like a total hypocrite here because I said I hate Call of Duty for the wall running and everything, but I did buy Titanfall too. Uh, is it out? It is out. I bought it. It, the one main reason I bought it, uh, I never bought the first one. Uh, it did intrigue me with the big titans and everything, but it didn't have a single player campaign. Or if it does, it's usually so gutted that you don't want to play it. Yeah, and then I saw Titanfall 2 was going to have a single player campaign, so interested me more. I watched some stuff on it before it was coming out, and uh, that made me make my decision of I was going to buy it. So... I have that, so I guess I'm kind of being hypocritical on the whole. Well, we're not harping on Titanfall, though. We're just it's just a beaten unoriginality, I should say, is oh, what Call of Duty's sick. fallen into. Very much so. And then back to the whole principle thing, they added that whole you got an exosuit, so now you can jump high or you can have increased armor and blah blah blah. Yeah, Crisis has already done that. Like Crisis did that years before, and Crisis, you know. It, it was like a benchmark game. Everybody was like comparing themselves to Crisis. Like, it doesn't look as good as Crisis. And if you ever did any benchmarking on your system, yeah, you probably use the Crisis game. Yeah. And yeah, so like all these things they add, there's no originality to them. Like, I've played with these mechanics in other games before, and I like them in the other games that I've played. Like Mirror's Edge, I played and I thought it was a really great game. I really liked yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the Prince of Persia's. I really like too, and then they just kind of started getting too, I don't know, easy. Like every time you'd fall off an edge or something, shoot this, your companion would just save you. So whatever, it was still a fun game. I did play it too. I remember playing one of the Prince of Persia's where you had to like escort the the girl around, and uh, yeah, it ended up she uh, fell off into one of those spike pits right as uh, the game did its checkpoint saving. So literally every time I loaded into the game, she'd die, and then it'd be like, all right, now you need to load up your checkpoint. I do, she'd die, load up your checkpoint, die. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was broken. That's like a Nintendo move, where it, like you save your game or something like as you're jumping over a pit, Yeah. and then you don't make the jump, and you're just like, load, die, load, die. So you're like, ugh, but you're so far, and yep. now you're just boned. Yeah, pretty okay, much. We're going to end this one here. We've been running for about 20 minutes. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, peace.